Hi, my name is Paul Holmes. I'm a senior piano performance major at Louisiana College, and I am from Pineville, Louisiana. Um, when I was around five, I guess I just kind of wanted to start taking lessons, and my parents told me, um, if you start, you can't stop. Um, and around, I think it was 10, I said, oh, I'm done playing piano, and they said, no, we told you once you started, you couldn't stop. So I've been playing ever since, and I'm glad they wouldn't let me stop. <laughs> Originally, I was actually supposed to go to um, Liberty University, and my um, financial aid and everything winded up getting messed up. So I came here at the last minute, um, and I was going to major in pre-med, minor in music, and I guess I kind of got sucked into the music world. Um, been a great enjoyment being here. I didn't know why he wants to be a pre-med major. He was um, definitely gifted and he had um, years of lessons and there were um, definitely some gifts and potentials to be discovered and polished. And so I was actually really excited um, and look forward for the work through those four years. I always knew God really wanted me to be in music. Um, I guess I was just doing pre-med to make other people in my life happy, um, and it just wasn't where my heart was. Um, I just really fell in love with playing, and <laughs> I just really found out where I was supposed to be. I remember the first things I wanted to play uh, was actually that last piece that I um, just played. Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata and I remember Miss Cho would always tell me stuff about phrasing and musicality and I had no idea what she was talking about. Well um, he has good um, powerful fingers and um, good um, techniques but um, it was hard to get like um, like he mentioned um, it was hard for some um, shaping of the phrase, like how to make the phrase really sing, um, sound pretty instead of mechanically one note by each, and um, and um, it took a while, actually a long time, to make everything click. Um, and so yeah, there was some challenge we had for four years, and finally, recently, like in last two months, all of a sudden the sesame just opened. <laughs> And yeah, I've been talking um, to him about this. I said, why did it just happen recently? He said, I don't know. I guess the four years she's really drugged that out of me. Uh, she's pushed me really hard, especially this last semester with all the um, different competitions. Um, it, it's really been enjoyable. Uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of practice. I usually wind up practicing before competitions about five hours a day. Um, I, I split it up, so I'll uh, probably practice around 35 hours a week, something like that. The first competition I did this year was the Alcorn State University uh, piano competition. It was held in Natchez, Mississippi. Um, there uh, were students from different schools in Mississippi and Louisiana um, that were performing. I was the first competition. I was really surprised um, that I did uh, that. I got second in that one. Um, I had been working hard, but it just some of the stuff wasn't 
wasn't um, just didn't feel right the day before. I had a better performance than I expected that day, though. Um, so it was it was a r real fun competition. <laughs> The second competition was Call L Cup, and at that time, I, that day, I was feeling really confident. Um, my pieces, I had gotten really familiar with them, really comfortable, um, and that was the first competition that I've gotten first in since I've been here. The last competition was the DeBose National Piano Competition. It was held in um, um, Baton Rouge, and uh, there were, so there were some very talented people there. I was really, I was really nervous about um, that one. I didn't really get to hear anybody else play that much, except for a couple of people, um, because the the, uh, the auditions were closed. Uh, I was, I was really happy though with the first place in that one. Um, it, it really, that one, it kind of surprised me, but I also felt like that was one of the um, best performances I've given at a competition. I was it was I was really excited. Um, I was really happy. Uh, I, it, it came from being frustrated. We had a uh, we had to wait um, an extra day, so I'd been nervous the whole day. That was the longest day of my life. And then they had a, um, a recital right before then. So we and there were a lot of prizes for um, elementary students because they have four different divisions in the um, competition. So we I waited and I waited, and it seemed like it was going on forever. And by the time I found out, I was so excited. I was going to go text Miss Cho, and of course that's when my phone died. <laughs> Um, but um, I also got chosen out of the college division there to play for the uh, awards recital that they had, and that was that was really enjoyable as well. Um, Michelle's a she's a really great teacher. Um, She's one of the teachers, you get out of it what you put into it. I've really found that out this semester. I uh, found out the harder that I work, the more that she pushes you. Um, she's really pushed me um, with learning new repertoire, um, finishing my repertoire, um, picking repertoire that was appropriate for me. Um, and she really helped me find things that were best for me, that helped me um, grow as a musician. I said this at his recital. It's been fun to work with him for four years, and it's um, very excited to see the uh, flower finally start blossoming. And um, it's um, also very excited to see all the accomplishments he made this semester on um, those competitions and the senior recitals, how to. Um, get them all together and ready and um, uh, he surprised me actually a lot through this four years sometimes I'm like mm, maybe not maybe not maybe not I don't know how whether it's gonna happen and um, <coughs> he proved me wrong a lot of time so um, it's very um, Fun. Well, most of the time it was fun. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really thankful for the gift. Um, I know whenever I'm um, playing, I'm a firm believer of everything you do. Um, you're supposed to do for uh, God. So. When I'm playing um, and when I'm practicing, I try to make make it myself realize that it's not for me to perform. It's actually a, a, an act of worship, and I feel like just because it's it's classical music, it's still worshipful if you put as much, you put your heart into it, put your soul into it, and really work to um, get the best that you can do out of it. I'm very proud of it for all these accomplishments. <laughs>